With us today, we have in the middle, head coach, Point Loma head coach, Bill Westfall. To his left, we have freshman, Roy Rusumzada. And to his right, we have senior, Jessica Scorza. Can we get an opening statement from you, coach? That was one of the most exciting games I've ever been in. Uh, and, and, and pressure packed. Uh, and I've coached for like 45 years. Uh, but that was crazy. Uh, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of our girls. Uh, I felt we were maybe a little outmanned going into the game as far as rebounding and aggressiveness. But we played our hearts out and uh, came out one point ahead. It's just wonderful. When they were coming back, we were we were trying to run a little clock, spread them out, hope to get to the free throw line, uh, and we knew we just had to score a couple more times, get a couple more rebounds. That the game was brutal on the boards, uh, and uh, they got their share of a rebound. If they would have hit a little higher percent, we would have been in trouble. But uh, we battled them really hard, and so. I guess at the end is, you know, what you saw, we were hanging on uh, because with all the crowd for them and everything, uh, it, it, it makes it tough for the visiting team. But I was super proud the way we did hang in there. What was the plan on the final possession and what's the plan to have the ball in a freshman's hand? Exactly what happened, I hate to say. <laughs> but I wanted to use Escorza and uh, Madison West's decoys in the corner and drive to the rack and don't stop until you get there. And that's what I told Roy to do, and it's exactly what she did. Jessica, I would like to ask a couple questions to you. Tell me a little about the call. Like you said, when you when you get to come up there and um, calls for Roya coming in, how did you feel about that one? Did you like what they had going? I, that was the perfect play to end the game. Um, I think I think Anchorage knew it was either me or Maddie to look for the last shot. As you can tell, they doubled me right from the beginning right when we got it in. And there's no better person on the team that could have taken that shot than Roya. Roya, let me ask you kind of the breakdown of it. They're, they're in the, basically they're in the press. I mean, that's got to set up a little bit better for you on the last shot. I mean, they're not setting back. You guys got, only got nine seconds to take the ball to the floor. What were you thinking? What was going through your mind? Man, um, <laughs> I'm kind of in shock right now still. Nerves throughout my whole body. Um, but when I saw, obviously they were guarding Jess, and I knew that I had to take the ball into my hands. And I knew that I could do it, but to have that much pressure, and it was tough, but I knew that if I could just get past that first girl, I'd be able to have what Coach says, poise and control, and just take my time, and I feel like that's what I did, and that's what I wanted to do. Did you at all, any time on there, even think about passing? <laughs> that I, was just, <laughs> I, was, I just told Jess, like, I'm sorry, like, I really wanted to get some open shots, but it happened against Cal Baptist, and um, we, they, they know Jess is a phenomenal player, and we want to get the ball in their hands. So great decoy, as, mm -hmm. as um, Maddie as well. So I knew that I would be able to do it. So. Really quickly, just to define that statement, did you apologize to Jessica for making the final <laughs> shot? <laughs> I know, it's silly, but move. It, it's tough because I look up to her a lot, and I would never want to take that away from her. And, but I'm glad we got the win. Have it. So. I got a question for Jessica over here. Jessica, you guys played in front of a hostile environment. I know you guys got to play earlier this year exhibition at San Diego State, but what was this arena, what was this crowd, and what were you guys facing tonight? Maybe not even on the floor, but the sixth man. This is an incredible atmosphere. Um, playing in an arena with their fans, being the underdog, being the eighth seed, playing the number one seed, it's, it's motivation, that in itself. I mean, it's what we've worked this entire season for, and you know, People might have thought, you know, us coming here to the tournament, you know, was a fluke or something, but we're very motivated and to prove to everyone that we're here to play. Like, we're just as good as anyone else, and we showed that tonight, and it's going to be a good tournament. Coach Westfall, I have one for you right there. I'd like to ask you kind of just the way the team has really picked it up, not just the second half, but you guys have now won, I believe it's 16 of your last 19 games, and you guys really kind of hit your stride the second half of the season. Just tell me the way you guys have kind of carried momentum and really seized it throughout the second half of the year. People like this have, uh, have to have the leadership. Uh, we had a young team, and the leadership kicked in. Uh, people grew up, 
And you know, we played 30 games now, so they're no longer freshmen; they're they're sophomores. And and uh, it was it's just a, a great team. Whenever I go into a pressure game, I like to look at the players before the game, and and they know I'm a little concerned. And they say, "It's all right, coach. We're all good." And when she tells me that, I say, "I relax." Uh, and and that was great. Speaking of relax, starting the game, I can't, I'm trying to remember what exactly what it went. But you guys went ele- you guys got up. I think it was 11 nothing or even 13 nothing to start the game. It's got to calm the nerves a little bit right there. everyone playing for one another and before you know the game even tipped off you know we all told each other we're here to play for one another you know this could be our last game you know we wanted the last game after our loss to Cal Bap and we got it and Coach Allen said no regrets this game you leave it all on the court. So. Uh, whoever would like to take this question but I'd like to ask you guys about the three-point shooting all night I mean that's the key in the stats Anna Vitri knocks down a couple threes I mean <laughs> behind the arc won it for you. I told Anna she was about one for 30. Before this game, I said, we got them right where we want them. They don't expect you to shoot, so you won't be guarded. So knock it down. And she made her first one, and then she made her second one. I said, I told you. <laughs> and so that was just uh, exciting. Because she can't shoot, uh, but she's very unselfish. That was my last question. All right. Thank you, Coach. Players, thank you. Thank you. All right.